Greetings to all of you, my dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, and all of you are welcome to my new broadcasting of the Exalted Christ, a Lenten devotional. And today we start a new week. We are still in the words, I am thirsty. This is your pastor, Yeti. <clears throat> Monday, March 14. Well, every week seems to be like just sometimes one day. It's moving pretty fast. Our scriptures reading for today is from John chapter 4, verses 13 and 14. Jesus answered and said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water that I will give him shall never thirst. For the water that I will give him will become in him a well of water springing up to eternal life. And for those who are just clicking on Spreaker, it is the um, Gospel of John, chapter 4, verses 13 and 14. One of the most liberating and treacherous facets of human life is that of free will. We can do what we choose to do, but therein light the rub. While we have the freedom to do what we wish, we also bear the responsibility for those choices. We cannot have freedom without responsibilities. And I'm talking here about a freedom that is a freedom, a positive freedom. Sometimes and I think there are people who are under such a control that they feel they don't even have any free will. And that is a sad thing to know. So I hope with these words that I can encourage you. Because the freedom, when we come to Christ, you said, when you come to me, that he makes us truly free. Which so we have a way to go within Him and with Him and under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So each day we encounter choices. Proverbial forks in the road. Do I choose to go to the left or to the right? Do I choose to do what is right or what is wrong? Do I choose compassion or condemnation? Do I choose to honor God or serve my own pleasure? The choice is ours, as it is the responsibility for that choice. To say that sad Satan is crafty would be a gross understatement. He has been tripping up believers ever since there were believers. To think that we will be the first to escape his craftiness will be tantamount to a declaration of war of which we will most certainly be defeated. Satan in his ultra craftiness has a counterfeit substitute for everything God offers. We can choose the good things of God 
or we can settle for the unholy things of Satan. It really is just that simple. It has been proven throughout the history of man that it is impossible to dabble around in the things of Satan without being affected by them. The only way to please and honor God is to remain unstained by the enticing offerings of Satan. The problem is that they are everywhere and they usually appear innocent on the surface. Remember that it is written in the letters. I think the letters of I think first or to, or second Peter that he said that Satan comes as an angel of light. We have to be very aware, very wise, very open with spiritual eyes. It really sometimes comes innocent on the surface. Once we turn from the pure offerings of God and start looking at the counterfeits of Satan, we start down the same path that Adam and Eve took in the garden. And we all know how that ended. We must test the spirits. We must compare everything we see and hear with the Word of God. We must strive to remain pure and faithful to our Savior and Lord. Each choice or decision is an opportunity to honor God or be stripped up by Satan. We must recognize and prepare for the spiritual battle in which we find ourselves. Each choice or decision is important. Remember this and take this with you. We have to be aware that Satan is a life. But the encouragement is this, the more you give yourself to Jesus Christ, the more you worship God, the more you praise Him, the less will be left over for Satan. Our thoughts will be focusing on God as less they were focusing on the devil. But we have to be aware it is a spiritual battle and we have to clothe us that we are protected. The closer we are abide in Christ, the more protected we are. And ask the Holy Spirit to guide you and that He open your eyes and mind and your emotions that you are aware that you can make the choice. And we know that sometimes we make wrong decisions and that is experiences we need to have in our life to walk our spiritual path. It doesn't mean that we always have to take the wrong choice, no, but as well good as well bad situations will bring us closer to the best part that God wants to give us. And He has such a strong desire. The closer you come to Him, the more He can love you. Because His love is always there, but sometimes in our battle, we lose track. And I end with this. Jesus is victor. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yeti. I love you guys. Bye.